and welcome to Grandad Reviews. In this short video, we'll have a look at the Helios 44.2. Now, the Helios 44.2 is well known for its swirly bokeh and its character. And it's been used quite a lot in, well, a lot of situations. And I believe even it's being used in the latest Batman. Uh, film. But one thing I wondered, this lens is for a full frame camera, so it covers the full a full 35mm sensor. But when we adapt it with a dumb adapter like this, which has got nothing inside it at all, that means we're only using the centre portion of the lens. Does that affect the swirly bokeh on our Fuji cameras? Our Fuji camera is an APS-C crop sensor. So putting this adapter on is making just the sensor see this, the centre of this circle of coverage. Now, does that make a difference? And if so, does using one of these speed booster type adapters, and this is a cheap Pixco one, make any difference? And the second part of that, does Adira Speed booster, this is a Viltrox. And I'm going to say that the, the glass in here is better than the uh, Pixco. Does that make any difference? So, what we're going to do is go outside with the Helios 44.2, straight through adapter, the two speed boosters, take some stills. And have a look what the swirly bokeh looks like between the all of them. I'll also move back with this dumb adapter as such to get the same field of view as the speed booster because that obviously makes this 58 a 58 rather than what this makes it, which is 1.5 times. And we'll see. And just see what, what results we get. And we'll do a little bit of video with it as well. So let's uh, go outside and do that. So we've had a look at the uh, images on the computer and is there a massive difference? Between them all, not really. 
the swirly bokeh is there in all of them. It's a little bit more pronounced in the cheap speed boosters compared to the, the dearer speed boosters. So obviously the glass in here is adding to that swirl, but doesn't make a great deal of difference. The only difference is, is in the field of view of this DUM adapter, which is also like putting an extension tube on your um, lens so you can actually focus closer. So I'm actually getting closer to the actual flower compared to these two because this is reducing that uh, distance. But when I pull back with this to get the same field of view as the speed boosters, and you do get a difference because obviously the depth of field changes there. Uh, but as for the bokeh and that, it makes a little bit of difference, but it's not a massive thing. So if you're just using one of these, you're not losing out as much as you probably think compared to a speed booster. So that's uh, my quick look at Helios 44.2. And if a dumb adapter or a non-speed booster adapter makes any difference to the bokeh compared to the speed boosters. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up as that helps the channel. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. Till next time, see you later.